Hello everybody, we're coming to you today from the Smoky Cape Camping Ground here in the Hat Head National Park. The Hat Head National Park is just a few kilometres away from Southwest Rocks here in New South Wales. And this is the pay station just as you come into the campground. So you'll see there there's a sign which outlines the price of $6 per adult per night and $3.50 for children that are 5 to 15 years age and of course New South Wales you'll need your National Parks uh, Vehicle Entrance Pass. Let me take you into the campground so as you can see there's a dirt road here and it does have a lot of potholes nothing you can't avoid and it's only for about 200 metres so uh, really not that much of an issue at all we did it in the motorhome, our 8 metre motorhome, very easily. Uh, six weeks maximum for caravans and tents. This beautiful forest sort of area as you come in. I've got a bit of a walk down this track, so I'll catch you up down near the other end. Okay, so here we are in the main part of the camping area. As you come in, just keep to the left and it goes around in a circle. There's some guys you know, parked up there doing the lap. They were parked there last night, but they've already gone this morning. So as I mentioned, this is National Park, so no dogs allowed. There's no real facilities. I think there could be some toilets here somewhere. I haven't been out to look. We didn't need them, but uh, there's no real facilities, no water or, or bins or anything. So um, make sure you bring everything with you and then make sure you take all your rubbish away with you. Um, beach is just straight through here. So easy walk down to the beach. There's uh, a bit of wind blowing up from the south this morning so I won't go too far down there and there we are straight out to the beach it is four wheel drive so if you've got a four wheel drive with you you can take that down onto the beach there the beach is just stunning and there's potential for some great fishing there as well the lighthouse is just up the beach a short distance um, Three things we have noticed here with the uh, campground is, first of all, no phone coverage. Uh, despite what Wikicamp says, uh, no phone coverage down here in the campground itself. On the beach, no problem. Um, you'll notice a lot of trees right through the park and just about everybody is covered with trees. So I've been unable to get any solar at all in our spot you might get a bit in other areas but it's quite limited uh, the other thing is for us uh, underneath these trees where under there's some fruit nuts of some sort on those trees and them and twigs or whatever it might be have been falling down onto the roof of the motorhome so that gives you a bit of a jolt when that happens didn't wake us up like during the night though, but I'm a heavy sleeper. Um, so that were three things we did notice about the campground. Otherwise, great location, great value. I'll make my way a little bit further along so you can see a few more campgrounds, campsites anyway. You can see there's a few caravans here, so there's space for caravans as well. Morning. Good 
plenty of tents and rooftop tents and different things. I haven't been down there, but the road seems to continue on down there. Uh, here's the toilets here on the right. You can tell I haven't walked very far. So as mentioned, it goes around in a circle and that just takes you through and, and back out the other side. So lots of trees and, and no real access to any sun, which, um, which we really need. So we're just staying here the one night. Let's look around here at the Sandy Cape Campground. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, you can see all of these on our website and definitelieve.com.au. And check out our YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook page. And you can like and subscribe to us there. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll catch up again soon.